2D problem here with relative velocity. An oil tanker, let's call it T, travels east at three meters per second with respect to the ground, while a tugboat moves north at four meters per second with respect to the tanker. So our tugboat we'll call B, and with respect to our tanker, T. What is the velocity of our tugboat with respect to the ground? So we want the velocity of our tugboat with respect to the ground, and that's going to be the velocity of our tugboat with respect to the tanker, plus the velocity of the tanker with respect to the ground. All right, drawing these out, we know that we have, as I look at the problem, tanker travels east at three meters per second with respect to the ground. So the tanker with respect to the ground, VTG, is three meters per second. We also have the tugboat push, pushes it north or moves forward, moves north at four meters per second with respect to the tanker. So the velocity of our boat with respect to the tanker is going to be four meters per second. And we can add these any way we want. I'm just going to draw it this way so they're tip to tail again. Velocity of our tugboat with respect to the tanker is four meters per second. Find the velocity of the tugboat with respect to the ground. So to do that, I'll add these up. Starting at the starting point of my first, going to the ending point of my last. And I can do that one in my head. That's a three, four, five right triangle. So the velocity of our tugboat with respect to the ground must be five meters per second. And we could use trig, of course, if we wanted to, if we needed to know that angle exactly. All right, hopefully that gets you a good start on circular and relative motion. Thanks so much for watching educator.com and make it a great day, everybody.